Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We got a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. There we go. Now we got the prompt to drop the dumbbells. Move on. Okay, so I guess I should drop the dumbbells first, or should I drop the big weight? I kind of want to see the big weight, so let's pick this bad girl up. That's a huge And if bitch. I can't drop this, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to be mad and sad. I can't drop it. Okay, so I can only pick it up. It's only for show, but I can drop this, though. So let's drop that right on his face. Boom! Damn! That's got a height. Okay, guys, I have an idea. So what I'm going to do, I got this guy to follow me. I'm actually going to make him go distract Budo so he can go down there as I drop the dumbbells. So let's talk to him. And I'm going to ask you to distract Budo, please. That sounds embarrassing, but I owe you one, so I'll do it. These guys are so freaking huge. Like, why are they so tall? So that student is distracting Budo. We are going to drop this weight right now, and we're going to see how this guy reacts. Bam! Shit! Oh my god, is that a dead body? I'm getting out of here. How do you even know he's dead? He literally got hit like one second ago, and then you're already calling him dead? A little premature, don't you think? Well, let's be real here, guys. Budo's body is bent more than Owen Wilson's nose, so he's definitely dead. Wait. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to show you because I didn't get to do the dumbbell thing in the last episode. Let's get on to some myths. One, get the lethal poison. Two, skip to lunchtime. Three, poison someone's bento. I use kudere. Four, go to where senpai sits. Five, when Kudeta is having her death spasm, Senpai will do the animation for when you poison Osana. Six, Senpai will be stuck in the kneeling pose, and you'll be able to stand right next to Senpai without getting the aura. Just don't go right up to the bench. So we put the poison inside of her bento. I can't believe she didn't see that. Stupid. Now we gotta go to Senpai. Like, do I get close to him? Do I get close enough to where I can smell him? What? I have no idea. You didn't specify that. But we're just gonna chill right here. We're just gonna watch the sweat dripping off Senpai's back. Kudere is actually already starting to choke. Senpai is low-key having a reaction, right? Yeah, he is. And yeah, it actually showed that he was trying to bring somebody back to life, but then he just froze in place all of a sudden. Okay, this time we're gonna try it with a dude. I think this only works with people that are on the roof. It triggers Senpai for some reason. I don't know if that's true, but I'm just gonna test that theory. Okay, let's see here, guys. He's eating the bento. I can't even tell if he has like a stomach ache or anything because it's so freaking far away. He's starting to cough. He's starting to gag. He's feeling the burn inside of his chest. What about Senpai? Come on, Senpai. Do it for me. Oh, he did do it. Okay, so we poisoned the guy, and then he still came up, and now he's trying to bring the air back to life. This time, we're going to try poisoning Ryoto, a.k.a. the guy that I had trouble poisoning in a previous episode. We have to do it, like, in a specific spot, like right here, I think. Like, right here? There we go, finally. Okay, so we're going to make a big circle, poison that ass, and let's see if Senpai is going to still do that same animation. Actually, instead of watching Ryoto, I should go to the roof. And then we're just going to see if he starts doing the animation. So I'm going to go right here. And then we're going to put ourselves in pizza mode because we always love to throw the awesome pieces. And we're just going to wait for Senpai to do his thing. Come on, Senpapi. Why do you look like that? There you go. Okay. So it works with people on the roof. And it also works with people that are on different floors. If you put the lethal poison in somebody's bento at lunchtime, Senpai is going to start acting a fool like this. Thank you for showing me that. On to the next one. Use the box cutter to kill someone so that it's bloody, and of course clean yourself up so you aren't bloody. See if you can place the box cutter in the box so that it's stuck. If that works, will people react to the box cutter being bloody when you ask for help? Okay, no pun intended, but that kind of thinking is definitely outside the box. I like that a lot. I like that we gotta end a life foo, and then we put the box cutter back in the box. I actually didn't even wear any gloves, but I don't think that it matters because we wanna see if people react to a bloody box cutter, so we're gonna try that out right now. So let's close the box, and then let's put the box cutter in there. Actually, why did I do that? I was supposed to end a life foo first. I'm so stupid! Okay, so since Midori's here, we're gonna end that life foo box cutter style, and I love the flower. I love that there was just like a bunch of flowers. They were like, boop. Okay, so let's close the box and then insert the bloody box cutter. And there's actually some blood on the box. That's Wait, there was blood on the box. Where did it go? That is so weird. Okay, let me ask this guy for help. I was unboxing some supplies and my box cutter got stuck. Can you help me? Sure, I'll help you. Okay, and now there's more blood flower stains on the box. Let me actually turn off the blood effect so you guys can actually see it and not see the flower thing. And then we're going to try this again. Actually, since we ended the life with the box cutter, but he was the last one to touch the box cutter, let's see if he's the one who's going to get framed or if it's going to be me. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Midori. The police discover a box cutter that is stained with the blood of Midori. The police find the fingerprints of Itachi Zamatora on the weapon. Okay, so I didn't even need the gloves in order to frame somebody. I just had to let him be the one touch it last. Okay, so we're gonna ask her for some help. And as you guys can see, the box cutter is still bloody. She said, sure, I'll help you. 
And then she pulled out the bloody box cutter. And what the hell is this one-eyed freak looking at? But yeah, guys, the box cutter and the box is actually bloody. So to answer your question, if you use the box cutter on somebody and then you get it stuck, nobody's gonna react to it whatsoever. On to the next one. Hey, Jay, try this. Can you light a teacher on fire while she's chasing you? Let me actually see something, guys. Let me see if I can stand back here. And then... Wait. Maybe if I stand close enough, I can actually get pushed out. Like this. This will push me out, right? If I stand this close and then I set the trap... Okay, so I'm gonna stand right here. Then once she starts chasing me, I'm gonna pick up the bucket, look up, and then set the trap, and then I'm gonna run, and then hopefully we can set her on fire. All right, here we go, guys. In the laifu. And how did she not see that? There you go. What have you done? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta be really fast. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Set the trap, set the goddamn trap. Set the goddamn trap. Come on, come on. No! Dude, every time I look up, that button to set the trap is nowhere to be found. Give me a freaking break. All right, let's do this, guys. I'm super confident now. Come on, notice me. Notice me. There we go. Why the hell is it lagging? Okay, so pick this up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Set the trap. And yes, we did it. Okay, so she's going to get the gasoline doused on her. Fight! Right? No, she's not. The only thing that's throwing me off about doing this is whenever the teacher notices you, my game gets, like, really laggy. I have no idea why, but we're going to take out the knife We're going to end the life food, and it's already freaking laggy. So they kind of get a head start already. Come on, we got this, though. We got this, we got this. Okay, pick this up. Set the trap. And, oh, my God, the door was out the other way. I'm dead. Wait, she got doused in gasoline! Okay, so we can definitely douse her, but now we just have to set her on fire. Oh my god, I got more than one teacher on me this time. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pick this up, set trap, and then grab the candle. Grab the freaking candle. Okay, got it. What? How did that not go on her that time? Okay, for like the 14th time, I'm gonna try to make this work. Come on, we got this. No student council here. Stop right now. Grab this. Come on, grab the freaking bucket. Set the trap. Wow, you have got to be kidding me. She still got splashed with the gasoline, but that's not the point. I need to be on the other side for it to work. Okay. Okay, grab this. Set trap. Yes, we got it. Okay. And then grab this. Come on. Come through, come through. She didn't light on fire. You suck. No. She dropped down right on the candle, but she didn't get lit by the fire. I feel like I know the right angle to make this work, guys. So we just got to stand right in the middle of the doorway. Stop. Okay, right grab now. this. Come on, I gotta be clutch. Grab this. Set trap. Okay, crouch. And then grab yeah. candle. What? How did she oh. not go right through and get doused by the gasoline? She curved that. Okay, this is gonna be my last time trying this one, guys. I've literally been stuck on this one for almost an hour now because I want to get it to work so bad. <laughs> but I gotta done? spend so much time setting it up each time. But I think we can Stop make it work. Right we know now. that we can douse her in gasoline. So let's pick this up. Set the trap. And then hide right here. Right there. She didn't catch on fire. She no. ran right past the no. candle with the flame and she didn't catch on fire. Let's do this. I gotta focus, guys. Come Stop on, Harry Potter right looking now. ass. Set trap. Crouch down. Grab this. And flick it. What? Why does it not go on them sometimes? That is so frustrating. Okay, this better work. If this doesn't work, I'm so done. Why the hell is that bitch coming after me? Right Screw now. you, dude. I'm so over this bullshit. I'm ship girl in this. I'm ship girl on the hell out of this. Okay. We are going to set the trap because I don't even care no more. And then uh, we can actually set this girl on fire, right? Can we set her on fire? Come on. Go over here. Come here. Set on fire. Yeah, set on fire. You like that? You like that shit? Carry this. Set trap. Crouch down a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It can't be. Go. Why did that not even go on her? I'm so done. I'm over it. Okay, so what I just did, guys, I left the body right where a teacher's pet could see her. Then I made that teacher's pet go get a teacher. Once the teacher came through the door, they're both going to get doused in gasoline. And then we're going to see what happens. Okay, so the teacher actually got doused in gasoline. I'm going to see if this works. Let's throw the match. There's been a death at Come on. It's yes! We got her! We got both of them! Let's go! Douse anyone in gasoline and then offer them chipu so they go to the fountain. Have a candle ready as they get shocked from the fountain. What happens? Okay, let's try this. Let's get him to stop following us. And then we are going to offer him the bag of delicious chipus. Free food? Sure, I'll take it. Okay. And then uh, we're going to turn this bad girl on. And let me move this candle out the way real quick. He's about to get some water. And no, he's not. Why are you not about to get water? 
Get some freaking water. I'm gonna light him on fire, man. Screw this. Okay, let's try this one again. We doused this guy in gasoline this time. That's why he's wearing a different shirt. We are gonna offer him the chipus right now. Free food. Sure, I'll take it. And I'm pretty sure that he's gonna go to the fountain. I don't know why the last guy was glitched, but please work for me. Please. I don't want to do this again. He's just twirling around. Why is he just twirling around? Wait, he's following me now. He's looking at me. Go to the fountain. Come on. Do it for me. Get that water. Go. Ah, uh, go. Come on, do something, please! You know what I know what you will take? A candle right up your ass! Oh, that's hot. Wait, he went to get water. Wait, no he didn't. He's just like thinking right next to the water. Okay, so to answer the question, if you give the guy the chipus after you douse him in gasoline, he's gonna be burning like this for a while and then he's just gonna have his hand under his chin. Let me try it one more time just to make sure. Wait, what's he doing? He's talking. What the fuck? Hold up, wait, what is going on? Let me turn this on. Okay, he's not getting electrocuted. <gasps> and, oh my god, that scared me. Pussy. That scared me really bad. <laughs> okay, so this time we got Ryoto here. We are going to give him the chippus. Maybe the drama club members are not going to go to the fountain, but hopefully Ryoto can come in clutch. Come on, do it for me, Ryoto. Okay, he's about to go there. No, he's not. He's still following me. I don't want you to do that. There you go. Turn it on. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, so we're shocking him, and we are going to light him on fire. Shock out. Come on. Get lit on fire. No! What? Oh. Okay, this time, guys, I'm gonna put the candle right here, right in front of the water fountain. We're gonna try it with my waifu. And she's slowly walking up to the fountain. Okay, that's what I like to see. And yes, the electricity's on, but she's catching on fire. Okay, so to answer the question, if you douse somebody in gasoline and then you give them the chipu so they go to the sabotage water fountain, they're gonna catch on fire and they're not gonna get electrocuted, but one guy did get electrocuted and didn't catch on fire. So honestly, it just depends on how you do it. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below and I'll choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude